The Champagne Velvet brand has existed for over 100 years. It was originally brewed by the Terre Haute Brewing Company in Terre Haute, Indiana at the turn of the 20th century. And then um, after Prohibition, it became one of the biggest beers in the country. It was uh, sold throughout the United States and was widely distributed. For Upland's 15th anniversary and back in 2013, we bought the rights to the Champagne Velvet name and decided to bring it back as a way to celebrate Indiana brewing heritage instead of just 15 years of Upland's brewing. So we got the rights to the name and we got the original handwritten recipe for Champagne Velvet that has turned into the beer that we enjoy now. The recipe development came from a combination of using that original handwritten recipe back from the 1900s and also filling in the gaps with some historical research, reading old brewing textbooks and seeing which ingredients would have been available to brewers at the time, focusing on German immigrants trying to replicate German styles from their homeland and which ingredients they could, could use to do that. Based off of the original recipe, we had a percentage of barley to corn that the original brewers were using in Terre Haute and we wanted to stay true to that, so we mixed in malted barley and flaked corn, and a percentage of the malted barley is grown and malted in Indiana within a 200 mile radius of us, so we're utilizing some local ingredients just as local brewers would have been using over 100 years ago also. The hops um, were based off of research into what brewers were using in the 1900s, um, we wanted to use a bittering hop at the start of the boil that would balance the malt sweetness, but it wouldn't provide too much hop flavor or aroma. So for that we used a traditional American variety. Uh, cluster hops are the oldest grown American variety. They would have been widely available to brewers, and um, we incorporated them at the start of the boil for bitterness. At the end of the boil we used German Tetnang. It's a German noble hop. Um, imported from Germany, it, it would feature some uh, peppery, earthy spice character to it. It carries through in the beer, and that's a tribute to Anton Meyer of the original Terre Haute Brewing Company, who was from the Tetnang region of Germany. The yeast is a Bohemian lager strain. During our initial test batches back in 2012 and 2013, we did about six different yeast strains that we experimented with and um, tasted them for their uh, flavor profiles. Um, monitor the fermentation to see which kind of yeast strains would perform well in Champagne Velvet while still being a uh, true German variety of yeast. Champagne Velvet is best drank out of a traditional Pilsner glass. It's tall, thin, and tapered towards the top. It really showcases the nice, brilliant, filtered clarity of the beer and also nicely captures full head retention on top. When tasting this beer, it'll start out a little sweet up front. You'll get some of that sweet corn flavor. Um, a nice balanced refreshment with the hops and the malt and it will finish very clean and crisp from the yeast character and the weeks of cold conditioning. 